If a camper comes to confide in you about a violation, don't show shock, fear, or panic. Don't let them feel you can't handle the situation, even if you're not sure you can. Validate. Be caring, compassionate, and respectful. Say things like, I believe you. I'm sorry. I am proud of you for coming to me. Reassure the camper that you are going to do everything you can to keep him or her safe and get them help in the way they need. If a child has been violated, they are probably really scared about what will happen and about people finding out. That's why it's very important to be clear and specific with them about what's going to happen every step of the way. Help give them back some of the control that was taken from them by their abuser by involving them in the process and decision-making. Ask them what they feel and what they want. Reassure them that nothing will be done without their permission and involvement. Don't discuss the situation with anyone other than the professionals in charge. And reassure the camper that you will be sensitive and discreet. This will prevent further panic and trauma. Don't tell them things that aren't true just to reassure them. And don't promise anything you can't deliver. This could only cause more damage. Remember, whether a camper confides in you or you have reason to suspect that the child's being hurt, don't investigate or try to solve the problem on your own. Trying to play one of these roles can actually cause more damage than good. Instead, report to your camp director or social worker within 24 hours. They will be the ones to manage the situation in a professional way. Remember, this is not Lashon Hora. It is Pikuach Nefesh. Helping children who have been through such trauma can be one of the highest and most important mitzvahs you can do.